Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Come watch me stream. Yeah. This is looking good. It's very white and medical. Just like my marijuana. Anyway. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. I just ate a copious amount of ramen and now my tummy is full. <laughs> So I just got back to Los Angeles. I say as if I literally just got back. It's almost two days since I've gotten back and I can hear the echo in this room. I apologize. It turns out I was gone for a month. Um, yeah, that's the end of the sentence. I kept getting pictures texted to me from my roommate and really good friend Andrew Lau saying that another package arrived. And this would happen maybe like 20 times, 25 times. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 30. So me in Delaware was thinking, wow, I really can't wait for Christmas 2.0. And then I took it one step further and said, wait, monetize this. That's what we're doing today. We're just, I just figured I would open all of these boxes that I don't remember ordering. I think some of them might even be like PR. That's right. And I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of funny to see, I don't know guys, I'm really just holding on for Dear life. But before we get into the video, as you guys know, I dedicate my videos to different organizations, causes, or small businesses throughout the pandemic that just could use some love or amplification or some eyeballs on them. Today's is from one of you guys. This cause is from a Clementine named Megan, and they say, Hey Chris, I'm from a small religious out in the country town in Utah. As you can guess, it is very, very conservative. They just announced they will be building an end circle in Heber. End circle is a home they build, and LGBTQ plus youth, families, and allies can go hang out there, get support they need, and all the help they need. High school counselors have reported that LGBTQ plus youth in my town would rather take their life than come out, parentheses, this is common in a lot of places, and having a circle in town will be a place they feel safe and like they can just be themselves judgment free. I think this will be such a step forward in my small community and they are raising money to build the house. The goal is $350,000 and there are a lot of good kind-hearted people in my town who need a nudge on how they can help and this is the first step. I really love this and really want to urge everybody watching to donate so we can all come together and help build this place where people can just literally feel safe being themselves. I know a lot of you guys watching live in small hometowns and you guys can probably relate to the feeling of what these closeted youth feel and nobody should ever feel like that. So I'm gonna leave a link down below. Be sure to donate what you can. If you can, I understand that money is tight right now for a lot of people and the world is just kind of upside down, but I think that we could really make a difference for some people that deserve some happiness. Link is down below, and let's ho 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 to some... We're gonna... Okay. You're watching this. Chris, jump. So I'm here with everything that came to my California house, and I don't know what a lot of this is. Um, I, I decided to take this fake tree from my living room to have a Christmas vibe. I, I, yeah, I look like a home goods representative. Right off the start, we are gonna start with this package from Stizzy, and I'm starting with this one because I've already taken from it. So I was really stoned last night, it was a nice housewarming, and this came with cookies by Sweetly Made, and let me tell you, this cookie was fucking insane. But yeah, this package is a holiday present from Stizzy, apparently, and if you guys don't know, I love this brand of weed. They did tell me about this, but... <gasps> I literally feel like it's Christmas all over again. I'm like, I have more vapes! Next they... I thought this was jars of weed. It's chocolate shavings. Oh, peppermint chips. Oh! Marshmallows! Brown cocaine, chocolate powder. Oh, it's a hot chocolate set. Stizzy, that is so cute. I did save one of the cookies so that I could show it, but I also took selfies with the other cookie last night. Run, run it back, Turbo. Candle definitely smells like an old person, but like, that's okay. And then I got a little orange, which is perfect because Twitter sent me a package to Delaware, but now I have two orange. <gasps> Let's put Twitter front and center to thank them for their continued anxiety that they give me on the daily. Merry holidays, guys! I say in a new year. Next up we have, oh, okay. So what you're gonna find out about me is that I am a Travis Scott stan. I like his merch a lot, and he always puts it out. I do not remember ordering this, so this... I ordered a McDonald's paper bag. Oh, this was from his McDonald's drop. 
Oh, oh, I forgot. I'm so excited for this. Oh, God. Okay, wow. Serotonin, I need you back and working five days a week. Seven if you can. Thank you so much, Travis Scott McDonald's. This one is... Don't know what this is. I like this string a lot. Reminds me of a bakery. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Chrissy and John. They... <laughs> they turned me into a little toy action figure. Oh my god, okay, so... So one day I got a text from Chrissy that was like, Hey, could you please send us the full-length photo of you that we asked for? And I was like... Ma'am, I am not sure what you're talking about. So I like literally went to our sunroom and just put my camera on timer and stood there and went. And they literally turned it into like a toy action figure. This is like my dream of life is to be an action figure. I'm not even gonna take it out of the pack. Like, I wanna like frame the, I, I need my therapist to be done with his three week long holiday break. Oh my God, wow. Thanks, Chrissy and John. Oh my god, and I'm wearing the middle kid hat? Oh my god, I love this. I definitely would have put on a way better outfit had I known I was being turned into an action figure. This is from Human Rig. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot I ordered Pharrell's skincare. God, you know like the TikTok sound? I've been waiting for this one. It's a Lizzo sound. Yeah, got it. As you guys know, I've bought Kylie's skin before, so one, I'm definitely not afraid of the vaccine, and two, I am kind of weary about celebrity skincare, but with Pharrell, I read that he really worked with his dermatologist and uh, facialist and whatnot. I am just so excited to try these out. Thanks, Pharrell, for sending me the package I purchased. This one is from Italy. What the fuck did I order? How packages become harder and harder to figure out how they open? Is that relatable to anybody? Like, it is literally easier to get into the Capitol building than it is to get into this package. I don't know why I'm being gentle with a cardboard box. Opening ceremony? I thought they went out of business. Did I purchase this? <laughs> I really don't think I purchased this. <laughs> check my email for opening ceremonies later. This is too much for me to handle right now. Next up, we have... What is this? <laughs> I don't know what any of these boxes are. Oh, I actually do know what this is. So I actually um, did quite a lot of shopping before I left for Delaware, which I literally forgot about. There was a huge issue with my order and it didn't ship out for a while. But I got this Vivian Westwood polo. I don't know why I dreaded wearing them in middle school and I'm now buying them as an adult. Oh! Oh, I wonder who this package is from. I saw everybody on Instagram getting their Way PR package. Apparently mine was waiting for me to get... <clears throat> anyway, you've all probably seen this on Instagram by now. We're going to treat you better. Thank God. This just says thick hair. I don't know if there's just hair inside or... Oh, treatment mask. Chris, just keep reading. Ooh, this comb. I don't really have hair, but like, I love this. Explain that one to me, psychiatrists. Next up, we have fine to medium hair treatment mask. So I've got to Google what fine to medium hair means. A razor that flexes to fit all your curves and edges. Guess who has curves and edges after this holiday break? <laughs> This giant curve. Wow, this is so exciting. Shami Ocean. Oh my god, Shami! If you guys don't know, Shami Ocean is a designer. I am obsessed with her. I put her face masks not only in my car, but also in my middle kid hat PR boxes. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, Shami. First of all, thank you for two new masks. I don't have these colors yet. I'm very excited about them. She also included like literal presents. <gasps> Oh my god, there's literally chocolate. Show me, did you get a diptyque candle? Show me! What the hell? Well, this is like such a boost of everything I needed. Okay, next up we have two middle kit. Don't know what this is. <laughs> Definitely did not order this because I would never refer to myself as middle kid. Oh, these are samples. Never mind. <laughs> I really thought I was getting something really cool. All right, this next one is... Also from Travis Scott. I'm really in a chocolate brown, like, 
obsession. Yeah, wait, these are like literally the same color. Okay, go Chris. This one, oh, this one is from Nicki Minaj Shop. So this one I uh, now do remember. I did not remember that this was in this pile. Pink Friday just had its 10 year anniversary and I had to get a t-shirt. I figured just what a fun shirt. I'm a bar, bitch. Next up we have, this is from Telfar. Oh, I bought another t-shirt. Oh, and I think it's also chocolate brown. Yep, it is. I love their shit. I bought a bunch of their bags while I was in Delaware. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this t-shirt. This one is one that my manager dropped on my doorstep. Oh my God, why is a Koshi for Fabletics? Am I about to be a Fabletics girl? All right, this is, oh, ooh, Liza, come through with this vest. How do I look? Incredible. You look fab and athletic. I do, oh, thank God. Liza, yeah, you can use this footage to promote this, but be careful, it might sell out immediately. Oh my god, this is so fun. Thanks, Liza. Okay, so next up we have, oh my fuck. Ugh. Next up we have this box that almost gave me a hernia now for the second time. I really actually have no idea what this is. It's huge. It's like the log stand that our landlord bought for our fireplace. <laughs> Like, I wonder what it is. Maybe a vault full of gold. Thank you, landlord. Next up, we have... I don't know what I would have ordered from Amazon. I remember. Do you know what this is? Is it what Claudia got you? It's what Claudia got me. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. So I was out at home in Delaware, you know, minding my business, watching Claudia Saluski vlogs like a normal person does. I saw that she got this, like, gallon-sized water bottle and was talking about how much she loves it, and I... Uh, I'm actively against them. I think they're ridiculous. I think they're insane. My butthole also had an opinion on it. So I put on my Instagram story being like, Claudia, I love you, but this is an intervention. No. And then I was met with an Instagram story from Claudia saying she bought me one. <laughs> Claudia, I'm gonna fill this with water and then I have like arthritis, and I can't barely hold this. It's like, this is in the same category as like AR-15s. Why are they available for purchase? No, this is very different, yeah, go. I mean, what is this, a fucking Lamborghini with butterfly wings? Like, thank you, Claudio, for this wonderful Christmas gift. I'm gonna keep chugging and feeling awesome, and don't worry, at 5 p.m., I won't give up. Oh my God, with my Fabletics? Wait, is this just me turning into Claudio Swooski? Shh, 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 shh. Oh my god, we're on the last <laughs> I was gonna say present. Okay, this one is also from Travis Scott, yes. This one I bought in our old house and have been waiting for it to get shipped out. <laughs> Some people, when they come into money, they buy Louis Vuitton, they buy a house. What do I do? I buy shit and forget about it. I was a huge Nerf gun kid when I was younger. I don't even know why I bought this. I don't even think I'm gonna like run around the house and use this, although. Andrew, watch out. It has his rap in it. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the Capitol. Oh my god, this is like a full-size gun. Am I a patriot? By Ivanka standards, I'd be a patriot! Oh my god, wait, Nerf guns have gotten lit. You can put the Nerf things in here and they'll... Okay, I definitely looked like somebody who should be on a no-fly list. So I'm gonna put this down. And thank you for joining me for... Opening presents I don't remember buying for myself. Well, um, this is a pretty low note to end on, so cut the cameras, da-da.